Hello and welcome to another set of readings of Lotus Love Tarot 555. Okay, you guys, I am here for your May love forecast. Let's tap into the energies of what's going on in love. Now, you guys, just as an um, a, a informative piece right here, be mindful. There are three planets that are currently in retrograde, okay? We've been talking about this a lot on the Lotus Love Show because we definitely have been seeing um, the effects of these uh, planets being in retrograde. You got Pluto uh, that's in retrograde. You have Saturn that's in retrograde. And Venus just went in retrograde on May 13th. Um, this is not the time to make any financial commitments. This is a, not a time to make any drastic moves in love right now because um, you just need to try to really work with these energies that's coming forth. Okay? Now, first and foremost, I always want to thank you guys for your love and support that you continue to give the channel. Just a little bit about the reading that we're about to embark on. Um, you can apply this to your sun, your moon, your rising, and definitely your Venus sign. Okay? Hello to our cross watchers out there. Um, you guys do keep in mind that the energies can flip-flop. So if it doesn't relate to you, it definitely can relate to your partner. Um... There's no time limit on these readings, so it could have happened three months ago, could have happened today, could happen in the very near future. If you have Instagram, go ahead and follow us on Instagram at Lotus Love Tarot 555. This deck does not want to activate. Okay. Um, yeah, follow us on Instagram at Instagram at Lotus Love Tarot 555. Um, don't forget to join us here every Monday through Thursday for the Lotus Sh Love Show at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Wow, we got cards flipping out already. This is your life purpose. Let go of fear now. All right, so that was for somebody already. Um, what else I need to say? Oh, you guys, we do have a Patreon. Please, 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 if you can, join our Patreon because we are, we already got a lot of good stuff over there, but we are really about to just crank it all the way out. If you really want to make some changes in your life, I encourage you to join our Patreon because we are about to take it one step at a time. We're going to actually do some serious steps in changing our lives for the better, letting go all of letting go of all the toxic toxicity um, that surrounds or surrounds us and trying to pull us out of our right energy. Okay, um, you guys subscribe to the channel if you would hit that like button, and every time we release a reading, you will be notified. Okay. All right, we have finished our shuffle now. On to your reading. Hello, my Taurus. Okay, you guys. We are here with your monthly love forecast. And I, as I was uh, looking back at your April forecast, you guys, hold on a second. Let's straighten this up a little bit. There we go. All right, bring that down some. Okay, that's better. As I was looking at your monthly um, April forecast, you were needing to take your time in a situation because you had some more truth that was coming out. So hopefully that truth has come out. You know exactly what's going on now. And so now let's just uh, see how that's relating now to your May love forecast reading. And let me encourage you to go back and look at that reading as well. Because sometimes the storyline, it just it really just continues. I mean, we've had some signs. I think it was Cancer and Leo. The same storyline came right back. And Gemini. The same storyline came right back in. And when you don't make changes... Spirit will not move when you don't do the changes that you need to do. All right. Holy Spirit, divine creator, universal messages need to go forth for the sign of Taurus as it relates to the love forecast for May 2020. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Taurus? What messages need to go forth for the sign of Taurus? Okay. Okay, Holy, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, the universe, the messages need to go forth for the sign of Taurus as it relates to the love forecast for May 2020. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Taurus? What does Taurus need to know? As it relates to the love forecast for May 2020. 
the messages need to go forth for the sign of Taurus. Okay. Make sure we don't have any flippers in here for you. Okay, Holy Spirit, divine community, the universal messages need to go forth for the sign of Taurus as released to the love forecast for May 2020. Messages need to go forth for the sign of Taurus. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Taurus? What messages need to go forth for the sign of Taurus? What does Taurus need to know? Love forecast, May 2020. Ooh, goodness. That one was a hard one to come out. I have to remember that that card because that one was it was like feeling some stubbornness, like something you didn't want to do. Holy Spirit, the divine creator of the universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Taurus as it relates to the love forecast for May 2020. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Taurus? Divine Creator of the Universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Taurus as it relates to the love forecast for May 2020? What messages need to go forth for the sign of Taurus? What messages need to go forth for the sign of Taurus as it relates to the love forecast? Okay. Alright, my Taurus, let's see what is going on. Let's put these back over here. All right, here we go. Oh, don't want to come up. Y'all know I'm a little anal when it's messed up now. So let's see what's going on. There we go. All right, playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. When you get this card, that means you've been a little rigid, really tight. Um, just, I don't want to say stress, but it's like you haven't been in a very playful mood. Uh, you've been very serious acting. Um, could be a situation that's causing you to, you know, react in a very serious uh, tone right now. But spirit is wanting you to uh, relax or have fun. Okay, if this if this is relating specifically to someone you're in love with, you all need to have some fun together. Okay, you need to go have a good time. Really relax. And something you're needing to free yourself from. It's time to take back control of your life. There's something that you're needing to free yourself of specifically that may have had you in some type of bondage, that may have had you in a space. And now what you're doing is you're, you're taking back control of your life. You're getting you back to, back in order. Um, and again, that's why Spirit is saying, you know, have some fun. Relax some. Take back control of your life while you're doing this. Okay? Time to move on. All right, so something very clearly, you got this twice now. You got free yourself, time to move on. It's time to let go of the old and worn out so the new can come in. You're putting a period behind someone or something. Treasure chest, this card has come out a, a lot today. An unforeseen windfall of new abundance comes to you now. So, hey, you are on the right path, but you're needing to move on from someone or something. You're needing to free yourself from someone or something. Something to try to have control over you. Now it's time for you to get control over it. That's coming through very, very clearly already. And it seems like once you move on, now you find this, this newness. Now you're moving into this new cycle. Now you're moving into this abundant place. Admit the truth to yourself and act accordingly. Don't stay someplace you're not wanted, Taurus. Don't stay in a situation that you know is toxic for you. Don't allow negativity to be around you. And admit truth to, your, truth to yourself. What are you doing wrong that you need to correct? When this has taken control of your life, what are you doing wrong that you know is not serving your highest good? Because that's what you need to move on from. But you got to admit the truth and say, you know what? This is not working anymore for me. I have, to, I have to free myself from it. You know what? This situation is not working for me anymore. I have to free myself from it. Birthday. And a significant, a significant birthday holds the answers to your question. Well, we are in Taurus season. So definitely 
this birthday that you have experienced this past birthday by still being in Taurus season, this is going to be significant for you because a lot has trans uh, transpired. Also during this season, Taurus, we've had four, not one, not two, not three. We have four planets that are in retrograde. So anything that's not serving your highest good, it is going to have to be let go of, especially even Venus being in retrograde, which is our, our mother planet, okay, our, our, our guardian planet. Um, it, it's in retrograde right now. So, yes, I'm sure a lot of things that you're seeing that are surfacing, you're needing to let go of, especially financially and um, in the romance area because Venus rules uh, certain parts of finances and also romance. Spirit saying don't stop. So this means don't stop what you're doing. Stay where you are. Keep moving on. Make sure you're taking the advice of what Spirit is telling you to do because it's going to lead you in the path that you need to go through. It's going to lead you right where you need to be. But it's not going to happen if you don't make the truth to yourself. you got to work on truth. You have to work on what truth is and what you need to really move on from. I mean, this is this is very clear. This is very, very clear. Okay, so now we're going to get some specifics into this situation. Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Taurus as it relates to the love forecast for May 2020. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Taurus? What messages need to go forth for the sign of Taurus? What messages need to go forth for the sign of Taurus? feeling such a resistance to the cards. I feel like you, it's something you want to hold on to and you know that you can. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Taurus? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, uh, wow. Okay. Ooh. Okay, Taurus. Wow. All I'm going to say is Wow. Okay, my Taurus, you have the Three of Cups, the Tower, the Nine of Swords, the Wheel, the Emperor, and your overarching energy is the Four of Wands, okay? You got a lot of major arcana, so this lets me know that this is definitely being guided by spirit. The place that you're in, the situation that you're in right now, it was for such a time as this. Okay, so you're definitely supposed to be in this place um, and in this space. You do have an angel number that's coming through for you. You have the fours right here together. So 4-4 four, four is definitely coming through for you. So look up the fours, 4-4-4. Four, four, four. That is going to be an additional message for you. Could be dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, the tower represents fire. So we got Aries, Sagittarius, Leo here. There's an extra emphasis on um, an Aries. The wheel represents fire as well. So you got a lot of fire energy here. Definitely an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo could have something to do with this. And you have um, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. But just keep in mind, it could be any sign. They're just taking on the energy of that sign. Okay. With the Three of Cups, this is you receiving support. Um, this is you receiving support from maybe family, friends. This could represent celebration. So what's so ironic to me is that your overarching energy is celebration too. With this four of wands, could definitely be a twin flame or twin flame has something to do with this. But you're, you're in this mode of celebrating, okay? Uh, with this three of cups here, this is you with this playful spirit. Okay, it's time to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. This is you receiving a support, you all are playing. Just it's just like a really, really good space. But I do feel some tension with whatever that you're moving on because something is coming to an end. Um, this ending was an unwanted change. This is something that you did not want to happen. Um, you did not want it to happen, but it's happened to happen. And spirit is in this. Spirit is making this end because this is something that was not, it wasn't serving your highest good. Um, this was an unwanted change. This was a disaster. Okay. This could be something that was painful for you. I um, mean, I feel like it's been going on. Um, this, I feel like it's finally coming to an end. Um, you're finally allowing this this tower to burn you're finally allowing to crash but it has caused you heartache it has caused you grief it has hard caused you anxiety not being able to sleep at night it has probably even caused you um depression okay about this 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 unwanted change this unwanted change but what you're not seeing here is that 
it had to happen because it's all turning for your good. You got the wheel of fortune here. This is good fortune. This is a good turning point. Yes, it may have hurt. Yes, this tower crashing may have been very painful for you, but it had to happen. The tower had to burn for this turn to happen for you. That spirit is making sure it takes place because when this wheel comes and it's in this right position, the upright position, this is luck. This is change. This is an inevitable um, ending. This is a cycle that, that had to end, but it's a good fortune. It's a good turning point for you, which is good. Could be directly related to this Aries here, this emperor here. Okay, um, not knowing what side this is, but this shows that you're having control. This is show, shows that you're being strategic in the moves that you're make, making, that you're strategically planning what you need, your next move. Okay, this could also represent you being a good leader, could represent, you know, being a good leader at your job, leader in your family. But it seems like you are, you're, you're, you're playing your cards right, okay, um, with this uh this emperor here could be related to a father figure or someone, a father could be related to the situation here as well. But it just seems like you're in control of what's, what's taking place here. Um, it seems like you're in control. In fact, this is what this says, free yourself. Okay. It says it's time to take back control of your life. And that's exactly what's happening here. This is control coming in. Um, this is control coming in. And your overarching energy, once again, is this four of wands here. This is could be, again, twin flames. Could have something directly related to this. If you're not sure what the twin flame is, go and look at the twin flame playlist. Look for the twin flame phases. Um, it's, a, it's a video there showing you the different phases of the twin flame. Um, this is celebration, though. This is a reunion. You could be um, having a reunion with someone. Um could be around a birthday, okay, or something happening with the birthday because we are in Taurus season. Um, this is homecoming. You could be going home or someone could be coming coming home. It's just, I feel like it's reunited, but I feel like it's just celebration. You're starting with celebration. You're ending with celebration. Something had to come to an end that truly hurt you, um, that truly brought you anxiety, grief, nightmares, couldn't sleep at night. I feel like this was going on for a period of time, but it's finally coming to an end with this wheel here. It's, it's ending. The wheel, the wheel in the tower, but it's turning for your good. It's turning for your good, okay? It's, it's definitely turning for your good. Okay, Taurus, we're going to go into the extended now um, because I really want to get more clarification on what you're moving on from. What is this transition going to be like? What is the outcome after you make this turning point, which is going to be good, but I want to look a little further into that. If any more information can come up in reference to this twin flame, um, but I really want to know uh, any more information about this abundance that's coming coming in for you. But what are you moving on from? It's time to let go of the old and worn out so the new can come in. So we want to know what is what you have to let go of. That spirit is making you let go of. Okay. And what are you having to admit truth about? Okay. Are you not allowing this truth to surface because it may hurt so bad or it may hurt you? You know, to the point that you don't want to deal with it. But hopefully that doesn't slow you down. Doesn't look like it will. But again, we want to dive a little further into it. And we're going to get um, your final advice from the Lover's Oracle. Okay? All right, you guys. The extended information can be found below. Meet me on the other side. Bye-bye.